I see you sitting right there. Are you ready? Oh god, if I can turn. That one's a little bit far out, but hey, today we're going to be testing out the new shotgun. I actually forgot what it's called. Let's go ahead and look in the inventory. It's called the Maisto or the Maisto 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. I did just buy the wood version because I'm not paying $10 for a gun with cool and engraved stuff. So I'd rather buy just the $6 gun. This is basically the shotgun in Call of the Wild. I'm pretty sure it's literally the exact same thing. I forgot what it's called. Oh yeah, it's the Norden 12 gauge. That's what it's called over there. Same thing. It's a three round semi-automatic 12 gauge shotgun. Well, actually, no, it's, it's not the same thing because this one's a 12 gauge and then the Norden is a 20 gauge. You're right. So they are a little bit different. They look pretty damn similar. But yeah, we're going to be testing this thing out today. Probably just going to be running around um, maybe a little bit. Oh, damn, I didn't see that guy and killing some pheasant. And then we're going to hop in the blind over there a little bit and try and kill us some geese. And then maybe towards the end of the video, uh, I just refilled all my hog feeders and stuff. Maybe we'll go over to my hog area and we'll put the slugs on and the slug scope. And see how useful those are with this shotgun but here we go here we go this is our first pheasant of the day a 22 not terrible not too great though give you guys a little bit of a look at it here pretty good looking um it's not i don't know it just it's not bad at all it looks good i like i like the wood pretty simple it's just a good old semi-automatic shotgun it should be able to get the job done it's probably going to be really really good for geese hunting and stuff like that especially if you carry two of these if you had two of them on you you could use the first one and then swap over to the next you could really take out some some ducks or some geese whatever you're using it for all right we found our next target he's sitting there bush camping we got a fortnite kid over here he's camping in the bush but he is coming our way it looks like that's good all right Holy shit, I'm awful. Oh. I need to desperately change my sensitivity on my mouse. Because, goddamn, it feels insane. I mean, I literally just woke up, so I kind of have a little bit of an excuse there. But, yeah, that was pretty bad. At 24, not awful. But another pheasant down. We actually got a hen there, too. I just didn't want to have them all, you know, just pass me up. Because there's a... F crap ton of pheasant around here right now i just keep screwing it up well that was the only first time i've screwed it up but i feel like it's gonna happen again but let's grab this one and i did just see another pheasant it looked like a rooster out of the corner of my eye let's actually pull out the binos and look really quick yeah he's right there he looks like a pretty decent one too and he's flying this way i'm not exactly sure where that guy went but there has been a crap ton of geese flying over right now i, I just need to go get in this blind because i'm gonna miss out on a great opportunity for the geese time the pheasants are fun and all, but the geese is a little bit better because, you know, it's just a little bit more fast paced and we'll actually be able to, you know, kind of use the semi-automatic capability a little bit better, you know, because we'll be able to just take those follow up shots. But the pheasants are fun. They're just a little bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. All right, boys, we got some geese to actually break real quick. Look at them all just falling down. It looks like they're just about to just hit the ground, but they're not. They kind of catch themselves there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I think I should wait for them to make a little pass again. Uh, we're going to shoot you on the ground because I don't care. If I can reload really quick, we might be able to get some more. Got that fast hands on. Okay, apparently the range does not reach out that far. But uh, overall, not bad. That actually did pretty damn good. Oop, I hit X on accident. Uh, how many did we get there? I think only three. I'm not going to complain about that. That was actually really, really useful. I mean... It reloads really fast, and you are you got three rounds of semi-automatic 12 gauge. I mean, it, it's it's a good shotgun. It's definitely worth it. I would definitely go pick this up if you're still into classic. I know a good bit of people actually still play this game, which is good, because sometimes Call of the Wild is, is, really, is really annoying. Oh, we got that one. Pretty sure that was just a hen, though. Couldn't really tell. I was following a rooster, but I'm pretty sure his ass flew all the way across the little river here. So I don't think we're going to be able to get him. And oh yeah, it was just a hint. All right. Well, I mean, it still counts as a, a pheasant, so I'm fine by that. And we're just out here testing out the new shotgun. That's all that really matters. And I'm, I'm liking it so far. It's a really good shotgun. Holy shit. It's Jason Bourne. This pig is coming under the water to get over here, dude. 
Apparently he's way over there because I can see like the water splash. <laughs> this pig is traveling under the water. We had this in the other video too. We had the uh, submarine deer. Now we got a submarine hog. So what I'm hoping happens here is like he's going to get close enough and he's going to get up on the land and then I'll just be able to pop him real quick with the slug gun. Here he comes. He's rising. Look at him. Here he comes. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. It is a male too. It's a boar. All right, boys. I think now's my shot. Oh, that's good blood. That's nice and bright. He's going down. All the slug is going to hammer him down, boys. And the good thing is, I think we are close enough or far enough from the tree stand in the feeder here that we shouldn't spook anything over that way. So hopefully we don't. And we can just go grab this guy really quick and then make our way over there. Yeah, lungs and heart. He ain't going anywhere. I think he's dead just right up here, actually. Yep, there he is right there. The good old 12 gauge slug did the job. <laughs> I know you really shouldn't shoot them while they're on the ground, but it's a game. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter. And look, there's another one running. Cap her too. But I think that's going to do it for today's video with uh, the brand new 12 gauge. It's a lot of fun. Unfortunately, we didn't really get to kill as many pigs as I'd like. But I mean, I tried. I tried for quite a bit and just never had any luck. So... We killed a good bit of animals with the day. I'm sure I will definitely be back out here on Hirschfeld or something and maybe out there on Regaru Bay or however you pronounce it, out there hunting some ducks with it. Maybe in the next video, I'm not too sure. We'll see what happens. Let's grab this guy really quick. It doesn't really look like a big one just by looking at the tail. He is a 24, actually not terrible, I don't think. I can't remember what my biggest one is. I think he's 25 or 27 or something. Yeah, I think he's a 27 or a 28, I'm not too sure. Anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't checked out the new shotgun, be sure to do so. In the Hunter Classic, in the store, it's $6. It's 650 EMs for like the lower grade ones, like the lower quality ones, like uh, the Woodstock and then the all black one. And then if you want the cool engraved one, it's like a thousand EMs. So not too terribly bad, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.